Our fourth Spotlight presenter is Kimin Lee, and he'll tell us about a simple unified framework for detecting out-of-distribution samples and adversarial attacks. Hi, I'm Kimin from KAIS. In our work, we introduced a simple unified framework for detecting out-of-distribution samples and adversarial attacks. This work is a joint work with Kibong Lee, Hong Lang Lee, and Jin Xin. A classifier can provide a meaningful answer only if a test sample is similar to the training samples. However, there should be many unknown samples that classifier cannot give a right answer because it never saw them in training time. Such an unknown sample causes critical concerns when deploying the classifier in real world system. For example, consider an objective classifier for car, a self driving car. If the classifier misclassifies some layer list in item, a car accident might happen. However, if we can detect such unknown sample very effectively, it is possible to prevent the car accidents. Motivated by this, our goal is to design the classifier to say, I don't know, when the decision from a classifier is uncertain. Basically, this problem can be formulated as a one-class classification problem, which detects abnormal samples at test time by measuring some confidence score from a classifier. Here, the main challenge is how to define a confidence score for a test sample. In most applications, people utilize a posterior distribution from a classifier, PY given X, where X is an input and Y is its label. However, it is well known that the posterior distribution can be easily overconfidence even for such abnormal samples. To tackle this fundamental limitation, we consider to model the data distribution Px given y in this paper. This is because the Px given y is a more direct metric to measure the confidence of an input x. To this end, instead of utilizing an expensive density estimator, we simply post-process a generative classifier on hidden feature space of a pre-trained softmax classifier. Specifically, we define class conditional Gaussian distribution on hidden feature space, where we estimate its parameter using a empirical class mean and covariance metrics from a training sample. Here, our approach is based on a theoretical connection that the posterior distribution of a generative classifier with a tied covariance matrix is equivalent to the softmax classifier. So we expect that training softmax classifier has some effects of feeding the hidden feature to Gaussian distribution. As shown in this figure, we indeed found that the hidden features of Lazy Network train on CPAR 10 dataset follow the class conditional unimodal distribution. So using this generative classifier, we define new confidence score as a Malanovis distance between a test sample and a closest class conditional Gaussian distribution. So in essence, we measure the log likelihood of a test sample using a generative classifier. Our experimental results show that the proposed confidence score outperformed the state of our baseline like uh, ODIN and LID for detecting adversary samples and out of distribution samples. So let me conclude this presentation. Deep generative classifier has been largely dismissed because the deep discriminative classifiers like softmax classifier typically outperform for please provide classification setups. However, in our paper, we found that deep generative classifier can outperform the softmax classifier across multiple applications, including detecting out of distribution samples and adversary samples. Actually, there are more stories in our paper, including calibration techniques, applications, and evaluation. So please come to our poster session today for more information. Thanks.